All right, how's it going, everybody? It's Ethan here. Coming to you from a very beautiful place right now, as you can see. This is Lewis Lake. And I'm in the beautiful snowy range of southern Wyoming in the Medicine Bow National Forest south of Laramie. And I'm starting here from the lake and heading up to the tallest peak in the snowy range, Medicine Bow Peak right there. And depending on how I feel when I come down from Medicine Bow Peak, I may also hit that peak as well, that Sugarloaf Mountain. Medicine Bow Peak is 12,014 feet at the summit. Sugarloaf is 11,398. Really excited to show you guys this hike. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I wanted to do it last summer, but it started snowing up here before I got a chance. Uh, this area, they call it the snowy range for a reason. It starts getting snow very early in the year and the snow usually stays until late July. That's Wyoming for you. But I finally got the opportunity to come up here and I'm really excited to show this to you guys. This uh, hike is a pretty short one. It's only about uh, one and three quarter miles to the summit. So only about a uh, three and a half mile hike round trip. If I add Sugarloaf, it'll be more like four and a half round trip, but still not too long. And the total gain up to Medicine Bow Peak is about 1,400 feet. And it involves a lot of uh, steep class two, and even a little easy class three at the end. So, should be a really fun climb. All right, so I'm around Lewis Lake. Out there is Klondike Lake. Looks like there's someone camping down there. Beautiful spot to do it. And of course up there, my destination, Medicine Bow Peak. So it looks like the trail will kind of loop around and then climb up on the saddle. And then from there, just head straight up to the summit. And uh, the scrambling section is right up there towards the top. There's a little boulder field. Uh, and from what I've heard, it's a lot of really big boulders and stuff like that that you got to scramble over. Not much exposure or anything like that. Just a, you know, easy class three for the last, I don't know, two tenths of a mile. Really beautiful area though. The snowy range is incredible. All right, well, I'm coming up on the saddle between Sugarloaf and Medicine Bow. And you can see Klondike Lake down there. And over there is Lewis Lake where I started at. Climbed up a little bit since then. And up here straight in front of me, that is Medicine Bow Peak. And then on the other side, Sugarloaf. So I'm on my way. All right, well, I'm at the base of Medicine Bow Peak right now. It's about another 900 feet of elevation gain to get to the summit from here. And uh, it's going to be a lot steeper from here on out. But distance-wise, it's not that long, only 0.8 miles. So there's a little trail junction here. 
and if you go in that direction that'll take you down to Mirror Lake uh, that's the other main trailhead where you can start your climb up to Medicine Bow Peak and as you can see these mountains are just incredible really cool all right time to keep going up a good amount from the saddle I'm almost pretty much level with uh, Sugarloaf Mountain right now but look at this view this is so amazing look at all of those lakes that is absolutely incredible and then of course all the lakes over there including Lewis Lake where I started from that is really spectacular getting amazing views already and I still got a good ways to go there's the summit up there so far the trail has just been kind of doing some switchbacks and uh, it's been it's been very rocky lots of uh, class 2 so far on this route But I'm making my way up there. Alright, so I've come up quite a bit. Getting a great view of all those lakes. Look at how many lakes there are down there. That is just awesome. There's Sugarloaf Mountain down there. I'm uh, definitely higher up than, than that now. Getting a great view from up here. All right, so the trail's still doing switchbacks up here through these boulder fields and all that, and it just looks like it goes up that way. Um, can't see the summit from here, but I believe I'm at about 11,700 feet right now. So I got just over 300 feet of gain left to get up to the summit, but still haven't hit the hardest part yet. All right, I made it up to the summit ridge, and the summit is right up there. Just got to cross this big boulder field to get up there, and there'll be some light scrambling, but nothing too bad. That's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, honestly, unless there's something I can't see. Getting a view to the other side now, that's looking west. And then that's looking back from where I came. Really cool stuff. It's beautiful and it's a nice day up here too. There's lots of rain and even some snow on the peaks in Colorado right now. Not a good weekend for uh, climbing up in Colorado, but up here it's beautiful. Blue skies, and the haze doesn't seem so bad up here. It is hazy, but it doesn't seem quite as bad as uh, most of the recent hikes I've done in Colorado. But anyway, I'm going to head up there and summit Medicine Bow Peak. All right, guys, welcome to the summit of Medicine Bow Peak, 12,014 feet, the tallest mountain in the snowy range of southern Wyoming. 
really beautiful. There's one other person heading up here, or actually a couple other people headed up here right now, but it's a pretty quiet summit this morning. And it is so beautiful. There's the view to the west. The boulder field I came up over there. Lewis Lake is down there. And lots of other lakes off in that direction. Still up on the summit, just admiring the views. They're so incredible. All those lakes down there really make this a very unique view. And this is a very unique range too. It's literally just this big like spine that comes up from the valley. And uh, of course the one I'm on right now, Medicine Bow Peak is the tallest. But there are some other sizable mountains in this range. It looks like that one is only a few feet shorter than Medicine Bow Peak. Not sure what that one's called. And then there's some other mountains over there. From up here, Sugarloaf Peak looks like nothing. From down at Lewis Lake, it looked like a sizable mountain, but from up here, nothing. But wow, this is really incredible. Really cool, guys. Also, before I forget, I wanted to point out, if you look over there, there's actually, that's actually the spot where United Airlines Flight 409 crashed into the side of the mountain and it killed um, all 66 people on board. There were uh, 63 passengers and three crew members and all of them died in that plane crash. Uh, I'm not sure of the year when that happened. I'm pretty sure it was in like the 90s, but I'm not positive. But um, if you actually go down to that area, there's a gully and that lake down there where you can actually see some of the uh, debris and some of the wreckage from the plane that's still down there. <clears throat> This is so cool though. And if you look way out there, the town of Laramie is out there about 30 miles from here. And then off in that direction, you can see those uh, mountains over there to the south are in Colorado. So not too far away from Colorado up here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to enjoy it a little bit longer. It's still a very beautiful day up here. No, nothing to be worried about in terms of bad weather. So I'm going to enjoy it a little bit longer, and then I'll start heading down. Just so awesome up here. So I'm coming off that boulder field now, and uh, you can see there's a few more people. And right there is where you head off the summit ridge and start going back down those steep switchbacks, back down to the bottom of the saddle. Also, I'd just like to point out, I don't know if I've said this already, but it is, I mean, there's like no wind today. That is so rare. I think I've gotten really lucky because the last two summits that I've done have had almost no wind. I mean, there literally wasn't, like, any wind at all up here on Medicine Bow. And uh, Horseshoe, the one I did last, the 13er I did last weekend, was just like a light breeze at most. So really cool. You can see some other hikers coming up the trail down there. And I am heading back down. That was a really cool summit though, I gotta tell you. It's really glad I finally got to bag Medicine Bow. Been wanting to do it for 
a long time. All right, so I'm crossing another class two boulder field here. And man, I gotta tell you, I started at the right time. Literally, as soon as I got off the summit ridge, from there on out, it's just been non-stop people. There's a lot of people coming up here today, taking advantage of this beautiful day. And of course, it is Labor Day weekend, so lots of people are out hiking and traveling and doing all kinds of stuff. But it is a little more crowded than I thought it would be, honestly. I knew there would be people, but I didn't think it would be this crowded. But apparently this is a pretty popular hike. But I definitely would recommend this for uh, the novice peak bagger. This is a good starter one for sure. It's not that long of a hike. It's actually more like two miles to get to the summit. So the website I looked at was a little off. But I mean still, two miles, 1,400 feet of elevation gain. It's not bad at all. And there is a lot of class two and boulder hopping and stuff like that. But it's actually more fun than anything else to do that, I think. But yeah, lots of people coming up now. Some of these rocks up here are so cool. Look at that like purplish pinkish color on that rock. Lots of that up here. Lots of quartz. <clears throat> really cool stuff. I'm almost all the way down to the bottom of the saddle. Still getting a great view over there, those lakes and those peaks. And like I said earlier, there are a lot of people on their way up to the summit right now. And while I do recommend this as a good uh, beginner peak, you still need to prepare for climbing a mountain. I mean, this hike does, it's still a tough hike. It's a mountain. And there is... Uh, you know, there's a lot, I mean, it's, it's going to tire you out a little bit. So bring water, bring snacks, bring the stuff that you need. Saw a lot of people coming up there without anything, no packs, not even a bottle of water, nothing. And that's, uh, that's a mistake. That's not a good idea. Alright, so I made it back down to the bottom of the saddle, and from here it's about another mile back to the trailhead, and uh, it's definitely not, the first mile is definitely not nearly as bad as the second mile. I just can't get over how many people are up here now. I even had the summit to myself for a few minutes and now it's just like crowds of people. And as you can see there are some clouds forming so although it did say that there wasn't supposed to be any rain today, you never know. That's why it's always good to be done with these as early as you can. Alright, so I'm back down in the valley, and uh, not too far from the trailhead, maybe like a half a mile. And the crowds have finally died down. Most of them are just on the side of the, uh, of the mountain. Like I said, starting early is key. And I can't tell where it's coming from, but I can hear an eagle screeching. Making its eagle noises. But anyway. I'm almost done. 
Alright, made it back to the Lewis Lake Trailhead. There it is, right there. So beautiful up here. Thank you guys for watching this video. This uh, wasn't too difficult of a hike. Like I said, it's about four miles round trip, 1,400 feet of elevation gain. That last mile is a burner. You go up about 1,000 feet, and well, it's like 0.8 miles. You go up 1,000 feet. So that part's kind of steep, but overall, it's really not so bad at all. And... It's absolutely beautiful out here in the snowy range, so I really had a good time. Glad I could bring you guys along. So anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys soon for the next one. Before I go, I'll give you guys one last look at the peak I climbed, Medicine Bow Peak. And that could very well be the last big peak of the year for me. Not sure yet. I may decide to do one more, but we'll see how the weather holds out. Some of the 14ers in Colorado are already getting snow, so we'll see how much, how much time I have to do any more. But either way, I'll have a lot of cool videos coming up. It's getting close to the fall time. I'll do some fall color hikes. I definitely got some of those planned. And of course, over the winter, I got lots of awesome stuff planned for that as well. So I'll see you guys soon.